Right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and of the Hunter Call of the Wild community, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. These are my last three rare tigers I managed to get my grubby little hands on before EW nuked the method of grinding tigers. Um, here is my first one, which is my first white stripeless. Now, at the time when... I knew they were a thing, and I've seen some screenshots, some in my Discord, some just out there. I wasn't a huge fan of the white stripeless. Number one, they looked more grey, in my opinion, and I just wasn't a huge fan other than, like, the white tiger or the pseudo mellers looked better, in my opinion. But seeing that, with the blue eyes and the fact that it does have stripes, it completely flipped my opinion on it. It then became my second most wanted rare after its uh, other counterpart, the White Tiger. The White Tiger, I absolutely love them. But the White Stripeless quickly became the second one I really wanted the most. And um, it's the fact that I, I thought it was, it was just pure white or slash grey. So then I thought it was just essentially an albino ripoff. But knowing that it does have stripes, but they're kind of like faded into the fur. So essentially leucistic. I, 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 it turned my opinion on it quite quickly the only problem or like issue i kind of have with them they are a little bit more gray than the other like the normal white tiger so i don't know if that was meant to just separate them i don't know but then we move to about maybe a couple of hours later i believe i might have been playing red dead or path of titans at this point and then come back to hunter to grind again a little bit more tigers and I wasn't really expecting anything. I'd gone without a rare or a diamond for like two or three hours at this point. And then that looks a little bit like a Mela. Is that a Mela? I don't know. It's an 8 mythical. It's diamond potential. Uh, no, it is a pseudo melanistic. And it's my favorite one of the pseudo melanistic. So my white, white tiger is my number one favorite. White strifeless became number two. And then pseudo melanistic, I'm going to class more Mela or high Mela, was number three. And I got one. And, believe it or not, I generally didn't think I'd find one of these. I'd seen so many people getting pseudo-melanistic oranges, and I'd just been to be getting the white ones, which, again, no problem. It's just, I prefer this variation. But to finally get my hands on one, he looks amazing. This guy is called Tony, by the way. I called him Tony because well, everyone knows you need a Tony the Tiger, man. You, you have to have one. And then my final rare of the ground, I believe the final kill of my tiger grind um was six kills after i got a white tiger which will be in a pre a next a previous video next video i don't know when it's going to show up but i shot that one with the bow and then six kills later we are looking around the i believe the top lake uh not really seeing anything i think my controller died there i'm trying to find out oh it's another white stripeless and an eight mythical diamond potential once again um to be honest kind of happy that I got a second one. I had two white tigers at the time, and I was kind of like, I know white tigers are my favourite, but I kind of want two white stripeless now, just so I've got four technically white tigers. And I, I, I got one. The final kill of my tiger grind was this guy. The white stripeless. I think after this, I think one or two days later, the update came out, and you know, the new king of tiger grinding was officially done. And, and I think I've just been grinding moose ever since. But just look how gorgeous this thing actually is. I, I'm kind of kicking myself that I generally thought this wasn't a good fur type. I, I'm really upset that I, my first thoughts and opinions on it was it's, mm, I'm not a big fan. It's gorgeous. The only problem, that, like I said, I do have with it is it's a little bit more grey and... In the trophy lodge at the time, I had my other white stripeless, the previous one, in a multi mount, and it's still so many different shades of grey and white in one animal. It's needs fixing, so they fixed the albinos, but they couldn't fix that. I, I, I don't know. Aw, are uh, going down a weird and maybe terrifying path. But there he is, white stripeless number two, and the final rare and tiger of the you know the tiger grind. And let's go to the trophy lodge. To find them all, shall we? I don't even know where I've put them. Uh, <laughs> where have I put them? No. That is the white tiger that was before the white stripeless with the bow. There they are. I put them opposite here. So I had two diamond uh, lions here, I believe. Um, they were like 
a year old. And I was like, you know what, Tigers, they're new and they're rare. Might as well get rid of some of the uh, the diamond lions. And plus, I've got ten albino lions in this lodge. Let's just get rid of some lions, shall we? So they're both are the white striplers. They are actually both called. This one's called Slim. So the left hand side is Slim, and the right hand side is called Shady, because it's funny. Slim Shady, a, a, a funny guy, I know. And um, we'll go quickly go say hello to uh, Tony as well. He's in this back room in a multi mount. There was no way I was going to put it on a on a plaque. It had to be a full body because it just looks really really cool. And I think on a full plaque, it just wouldn't show off the orange and the like mellow contrast. I just don't think it would you know, do it any justice, in my honest opinion. So there's Tony chilling over there. And there are some of my other rares that I got. A pseudo-melanistic white, which is the high mella. Uh, the white tiger and a melanistic tiger are uh, both up there. But to be honest, kind of upset they nuked the, the tiger grind. It was actually fun, but who knows. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.